a lot of the times people would go to these events and groups, specifically music festivals, and not everybody had a smartphone. Um, people had feature phones. Not everybody was checking email all the time. So there really wasn't a great group communication tool. So I called up uh, my co-founder, Steve Martosi, and said, hey man, like this is a problem that you and I have too. We met through music and music festivals in particular. And uh, we said, let's build a tool so we can make this experience a lot easier. And SMS just seemed like the most intuitive way to go about it. Uh, worked on all phones, worked all the time, uh, and everybody already knew how to use it. And it just seemed kind of silly that reply all SMS was something that didn't exist. And the space that we're in, this concept of groups, is really part of this overarching theme of private social networks. Um, there's this idea that uh, all of these broadcast social networks like Twitter and Facebook have made communication and human interaction online very, very sterile because I don't really have a private medium to say the things that I really want to say to my family or to my coworkers or to my friends from college or to my fantasy football league. So what we've been able to do is create a platform that really embraces privacy and private social networks. Every group gets its own unique phone number, so you can think about it like you share a phone number with your family or your coworkers or your friends from college. When you text that phone number, it goes to everybody in the group. When they text back, the same thing happens. And when you call that number, everybody in the group's phone will ring. When they pick up, they're dropped into an instant conference call. That's pretty much the core feature set. It's a very, very simple, intuitive tool. So, I mean, if you're any business, if you're in PR or you're a local merchant who runs a small business selling, I don't know, toilet paper in Topeka, Kansas, you should be using this tool. Um, it's a really, really simple use case. If you work with more than one person, you should probably be using Ruby. It just makes communication so much more efficient, sharing information so much more rapid. You're instantly in touch with everybody that you always need to be in touch with through the click of one button start a conference call or send a quick message and you know it's going to go to everybody. You know everybody's going to get it. It's the most intimate form of communication. It's a text message and it's a call. This is how people talk all across the country, all across the world. It's pretty much the dominant form of communication right now. These are groups of people who know each other in real life and that's a really, really powerful connection. That's a really, really powerful bond uh, that brands have never been able to tap into before. Usually brands have it be engaging with consumers on a one-to-one -one basis or them blasting out messages to many of them. And now we're enabling brands to actually talk to people who know each other in real life. So imagine me and my friends all watch a television show together. That, that television show or that brand now has the ability to interact with that group of real life people. It really just shows that these brands are realizing that this is a tool that they need right now. They want to have the ability to inject themselves into real life conversation mm -hmm. and that's something they really haven't had a chance to do. And actually, I'll show you really fast. Um, we have introduced a bunch of brands to the platform um, several weeks ago, almost a month ago now actually, um, in this concept called feature groups where, I don't know if you can see here, We've partnered with two television shows, Bad Girls Club from Oxygen, America's Best Dance Group from MTV. Um, we did partner with Coachella, but Coachella's over. Bonnaroo Music Festival, going back to those music festival experiences, uh, and Bon Jovi as well. And we have a ton more in the pipeline right now, uh, which we're really, really excited about. I mean, you know, we're doing cool things with all these live events. Live events are our bread and butter. You know, we built this tool so people could communicate and coordinate better when they were going to live events. Whether that's a music festival, whether that's a convention or a conference, we want to be there. We want to have a presence. The nature of the relationship is pretty simple. Like, it's a fantastic use case for us. We are able to have presence for, to everybody who's attending that festival. And in return, this is a wonderful, wonderful tool for Bonnaroo to give to all their attendees. This is something that they love. This is something that they use. It enhances that festival and life experience. So it's good all around. It's a super happy loop. So I think this is the one screen for reaching today's mobile consumer or on-the-go consumer. Uh, I mean, this is the thing that's always on. This is how you reach anybody all the time. So uh, this is without a doubt the future. Actually, I think that's the overwhelming trend in social media right now. It's that it's blossomed and blossomed and blossomed and it's just become this place where there's too much going on. 
There's not enough intimacy, but there's incredible ways to spread information instantaneously. And what we're seeing right now is these specific sets of tools are really, really great for broadcasting information. But what people really want right now is a way to scope those tools back down to something that's relevant and meaningful for them. And that's really where GroupMe comes in right now. Uh, and I think you see a lot of those big players recognizing those things and uh, they're trying to adapt. Uh, and you know we've adapted by targeting mobile first, uh, and that's that's where we focus. Well, that's where all of our focus is right now, um, which I think is the right thing to do. Uh, but I think that's absolutely the trend right now: is scoping these down, creating these intimate social networks, these private groups that really represent something more of what we call a real life network.